Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add and delete whole columns and rows to your tables if needed. Remember the publisher will automatically add a new row at the bottom of the table when you press the tab key while your insertion pointer is in the lower right corner cell of the table. However, you may also need to alter the table structure to add or remove columns and rows. In this lesson, you will learn how to insert and delete columns and rows in a table. To delete multiple columns or rows, first select the columns or rows to delete. To delete a single column or a single row, click into the cell within the column or row to delete to indicate your selection. After making your selection, click the Delete button in the Rows and Columns button group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab. From the drop-down menu of commands, select either the Delete Columns or the Delete Rows command. To insert a new column or row, click into a cell within the column or row adjacent to the location where the new column or row is to be inserted. Then use the buttons available in the Rows and Columns button group to insert a new column or row in the location shown on the button. Either insert above, insert below, insert left, and insert right. To insert multiple columns or rows, first select the number of columns or rows to insert before clicking one of the four buttons. For example, if you select three columns and then click the Insert Left button, you will insert three columns to the left of the three selected columns. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.